it's Zena, your best friend who loves horror. Today, guys, I'm chatting with film director, screenwriter, producer, and editor CJ Obasi. I first heard about him back in 2015 when his zombie film, Ojuju, it was playing at Fantasia Fest. Why'd you see these things? So it's basically um, when the water supply in an isolated neighborhood in Nigeria becomes infected, the neighborhood becomes infested with the undead. What was the filming process like and how long did it even take to film? Um, the actual filming took place in 2013, um, in November, sometime in November 2013, and it took about 12 days, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it was all shot in, in a, like a real slum in Lagos, mm. and it was it was tough. It was really hard because we didn't have any money. Um, so when we say it's a no-budget film, it really is a no-budget film. It's not like some kind of a gimmick, you know. Um, it's, it really is like we had literally no money. And I remember I had come to Lagos. You know, Lagos is like the largest city in Africa. Um, I had just come to Lagos at the time. And I just like, I didn't know anybody. Like I was, you know, this new filmmaker and nobody was going to fund, you know, nobody's gonna fund, you know, a zombie film from a, a no name filmmaker, especially in Nigeria where such films are not common. You know what I'm saying? So um, nobody was gonna fund that. But um, I, ha I, had, um, I had a terrific producer who is now my wife. You know, she kind of like, made it happen if I, you know in many ways because here's the thing a lot of the people who work as part of the cast and crew they didn't know me for Ada, from Ada, but mm -hmm. they knew her because she was kind of like in production then and it took to a large degree her convincing them before they would you know work with me and so i always be grateful grateful for that but we really didn't have money so a lot of the uh, the people who came on board the project worked on a pro bono sort of arrangement, but wow. there was no, literally, no money um, to to make it happen. But you know, as the as 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 we started going on, you know, you know, you know, you know little money from here, you know, to pay off. I, I had to shoot on three different cameras because, you know, the first camera I had, you know, we were filming, and then. The, the company, the rental company, was like, no, you guys haven't paid. So they came and took it away. And so we, we, we started working with the behind the scenes camera. <laughs> and then that was taken away as well. And then, you know, we, we got another camera and finished off. So it was, it, was, it was tough. And I remember we spent nights in the, in the slum because we couldn't afford to get, like, you know, stay in a hotel. So we would shoot, like, nonstop. You know, at some point, you know, the, the gangs day in the slum and wanted us out. You know, at some point they were excited to be in the film. And we and I casted them in roles in the films. So, you know, I look back with, you know, um, you know, at, at all the great things the film has achieved because we we really didn't expect it to achieve nearly as much as um, you know, from the critical acclaim to the countless festivals, you know, um, studies and, and, and articles have been written in schools all over the world because of this film and you know, this last year it was it was listed in IndieWire's greatest zombie films of all time. You know, so like you know, it's, when you make a movie for no money, literally, you don't expect it to do all that. You know, um, the the best case scenario for me was thinking that you know it would be sort of like a calling card for me to say, you know, you know, if I could do this for little, hey guys, look at what I can do. You know, and then I would get money to do other things. Right. But, you know, it, 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 it exceeded my expectations. I know with uh, the leading character in Ojuju, his name is Romero. So, George A. Romero? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, 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 one of my ambitions was hoping that he would get to see Ojuju. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, but I, I really think he would have liked it, you know. Because <laughs> I think cause it's it's really has... I mean, it's its own film, right? And there's no reference to zombies as a term and all that. But it's, it really has the heart and spirit, especially of the, the Night of the Living Dead, which is like my my favorite zombie film ever. Um, I just feel like you know, it's it's one of those films that if you if you see it the first time, you kind of wonder how he was able to just get away with such a simplistic 
and yet still very powerful. So I'm curious, um, with you, what is it about horror movies that you love? Why are you so attracted to them? Well, I grew up on them, you know. Um, I, my, I think my first recollection of, of the film is Evil Dead. In fact, it's not even like maybe that's what it was. My fir The first film I, I, I recall, you know, as a kid was definitely Evil Dead. And and I and I and because I try to remember what I saw before then and I can't. And I was really young, you know, maybe three or four, around that age. And I know I have no business watching it with that, you know. So it kind of it kind of messed up my childhood. <laughs> Again, like I really do appreciate your time. I appreciate what you're doing. I love seeing it from your lens because it's still terrorizing. It's still engaging. <laughs> and it's, it's something I feel like we all need. So, you know, thank you just for, for these stories that, that you're giving us. So really appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs>